WFNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here. Last trading day of July for the market. We'll see how the market's close for the monthly uh, candles. What we're looking at here is that after yesterday's really strong move, uh, especially after the close when um, when you had the reporting from uh, that was Amazon and Apple, uh, very strong, uh, you had a big spike in the futures. Then there was some give back. And now we, what we're seeing is a testing of those highs. The, the high today in the Dow so far is 32,608. Hasn't taken out, uh, let me just see, 32,068. Yeah, 69. So it's missed by about a point taking out yesterday's high. It still could do it. I'm just saying right now it hasn't, but it's probably on the way to extend leg D to the upside. Uh, I'll be talking about this in my show coming up, the Tiger Traditions Hour, all these different channel lines, etc. Uh, in the in the weekly charts, and it's really important. That's obviously going to affect by the end of the day, it's going to affect the monthly charts. So the S&P, very nice comeback here as well. The S&P, uh, Dow's up 82. The S&P is up 34 at 4106. You remember earlier in the week, I'd said it might be a stretch, but I would love to see the 4105s taken out. Uh, and we've done that today. We went to 4107.26 in leg C. Uh, I'll talk about this in my show coming up, the Tiger Technicians Hour, where I'll discuss the Chapman Wave methodology that when you get a buy signal, Upgraded to a buy mode, which the S&P is in, you should get to at least a leg D, and then we have to see what happens. Looking at the QQQ, and this, of course, includes um, includes Apple, includes Amazon, and so far is up really nicely, up 369 to 313. The left side high of 314.46 made uh, beginning of June before that tumbled to the 269 area. We're about to test that. That's, this is absolutely fabulous action. Reason why for subscribers, uh, we are along the queues uh, for a little while now. What we're looking at is an IWM. In the IWM, what we are looking at here is extended leg D, also up 27 cents at 186.20. Not quite as strong, but a pretty good char chart pattern. We're going to be looking at gold, and if I do the second hour, in other words, if I do the 11 o'clock hour as well, I will go through all the different commodities. Gold is uh, up at 70. A lot to talk about. Hope you can stay for my show and the following show. Uh, Basil Chapman all signing off before my Tiger Technicians out. Check out my opening call newsletter.